Going to London these days sometimes feels like going to another planet. Britain might have been suffering the worst economic squeeze in a century, but it doesn't feel like it walking round here. And in many ways, it hasn't been like that either. There was a recession in London, but in large parts of the capital it was pretty hard to spot. House prices, for example, have risen 15% since the start of the financial crisis, when prices most other places have been going down. The 10 richest boroughs of London are now worth more, in real estate terms, than Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales added together. But it's not just bankers and Russian oligarchs who want to come here. A third of the population was born in another country. A lot of the people here are global citizens, really. I bet they'd be more comfortable in New York or Tokyo than anywhere else in Britain. And they say, with everything going on, London is becoming the new capital of the world. You come out wondering, if it is like another country these days, do we really want London to carry on being part of the UK? You might think that sounds like a crazy idea. Doesn't the rest of the country get enormous benefits from London's success? Not to mention about a fifth of its national income. I've just been looking at the figures and the average Londoner contributes about 70% more to Britain's national output than people in the rest of the country. So for each person, that's a gap of about £16,000 a year. But one big reason for that is that other places haven't been doing nearly as well. The north-south divide has been widening. So whatever London's success is doing for the rest of the country, it doesn't seem to be helping it to catch up. 